We're here at Belize to compete, of course. Um, we heard about your hospitality. Now we're going to play you in some football. We had some experience with you guys playing beach soccer. Now I know it's a return match. And I know you guys are pretty good on the grass. <laughs> um, so tell us how did Bahamas prepare? Uh, did you watch what our team here um, has been doing? Well, basically, um, our coach is really scouting you guys. And he sends us a lot of clips because you had a lot of friendly games like Cuba, I see against Jamaica, Grenada. I've seen a lot in Belize so far. I think it, I saw one of your top players for having some problems here. Macaulay, that's his name. So this will tell you that I'm scouting as well, too. So you're looking at the oh, yeah. pool of I'm former, talent. I'm a former coach, you see? That's the reason why I'm now the manager. I've been looking at your style of play. I've been looking at your competition. You guys, I also know that you guys fared very well in the Gold Cup recently. Not this year, but I mean two years ago. That you really was in the last eight. So Belize is a team to be reckoned with. Very well respected team. How did Bahamas prepare for this? How we prepared? Well, we bring in a, we got a, we got a very young team. When I say extremely young. But most of our kids are overseas based. We got about eight overseas based players. Um, you're going to see a lot of, when I say a young team, it's, it's a young team. We've mixed it with a couple of veterans. Uh, we only have one profession, unfortunately. My mindset going into Friday game is um, to go there and fight for the country and um, perform at a good level, even though it's a young team. And um, one, one or two experienced players on the team. And, being a captain, I must go out there and help the team and lead the team. And uh, basically, um, this is our first time here and first time playing against Belize. And some of the players, you know, playing in a match, they'll be nervous. So I have to. That's when I step up as a captain. So to help guide them and to play a good game on Friday. Well, this is the first match of four to of, the, of what we call in uh, Concacaf Nations League. And depending on how we do we should qualify for the 2019 Gold Cup. So looking at this Bahamas team, uh, what are our chances? I think our chances are very good. Um, of the four teams that we are, we are going to play in this, in this round of, turn, of the tournament, we are ranked higher than all of them. So what do you think we need to do on Friday night to win the game? Well, the players just need to, to, to remain focused and carry out the, the, the game plan that the coach has, um, has devised for them. Um, we've been training for, for months now. We've, we've had three friendlies in between, and so the team is well prepared for this match. So now if we win Friday night, what happens next? Who do we play next? We play, we go to Montserrat in October, and then Puerto Rico comes here on November 16th. And then in March next year, we go to Guyana. We're asking the public to please come out and support the team. Uh, it's, it's motivational wise, it's very good for them. Um, they love to see a full stadium and all the noise we make. So bring out your flags, bring out your rags, and come and make some noise.